What's up guys, Matthew Wells here for MMALatestNews.com. Welcome to Quick Hits. If you did not see UFC Fight Night Sao Paulo, Brazil, you missed one hell of a main card. The man I said look out for in Thomas Almeida, that man is an absolute beast. Brutal knockout of Anthony Burchek. It was sick. Anybody who takes the next fight with Thomas Almeida, you're, you're in for a tough night at the office, I'll tell you that much. Next up on the co-main event, you had Glover Teixeira taking on Patrick Cumming. Glover looks every bit like the guy that wants to be back in that title fight. He absolutely brutalized Patrick Cummings. Wasn't even close. Glover Teixeira is on that short list for the title shot. Ryan Bader, Alexander Gustafson, Anthony Rumble Johnson, John Jones coming back, and of course the current champion Daniel Cormier. A short list at the top of that division. Any one of those guys can get that title shot at any given moment. And then in the main event, for the third time, Dan Henderson took on Vitor Belfort. Pretty much a feeling out process for about a minute and a half there. And all of a sudden, boom. Head kit knockout, just like in the previous fight, it looked eerily similar. But what an amazing knockout for Vitor Belfort. Skinny Vitor. Going forward this weekend, we got UFC 193, and it's time for the ladies. You got Ronda Rousey taking on Holly Holm. You got Johanna and Jacek taking on Valerie Letourneau. Ronda and Johanna are both heavy, heavy favorites coming into the fight, so if, if their opponents pull off a win, it's going to be an amazing upset. Holly Holm has the tools to beat Ronda. Can she pull it off? Can she avoid the takedowns and stick to her boxing and stay at range and pick apart Ronda Rousey over the course of five rounds or less? We're going to see what Holly Holm can bring to the table. The strawweight championship bout, you got Johanny and Jacek taking on Valerie Letourneau. Valerie is a very game opponent. She's a tough girl, but Johanna is an absolute killer. Her striking is as sharp as it comes in women's MMA. But the fight I'm looking forward to the most, number 10, Uriah Hall taking on number 14, Robert Whitaker, and what is going to be a very, very exciting matchup between two very talented strikers, Uriah Hall a little bit more on the flashy side, Robert Whitaker more on the technical boxing side, could produce a very highlight real knockout. In other news, Bellator. Anybody know what Bellator's doing? Anybody? Do you, do you know what Bellator's doing? What, what are they doing? Bellator has books. And I am not kidding you, for their main event coming up, Hoist Gracie, yes, that Hoist Gracie, taking on Ken Shamrock at an upcoming Bellator event. Yes, Hoist Gracie and Ken Shamrock are meeting up for the third time. This is really happening, ladies and gentlemen. These two men last met up, check this, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Last time Hoist Gracie was in action was back in 2007 against Sakuraba, a fight that he won by decision. Ken Shamrock was last in action this past June against Kimbo. That was not a very impressive outing for Ken Shamrock. Rear naked choke sunk in very, very tight and for some reason just could not get the finish. Kimbo got back to his feet. It was all over. And speaking of Kimbo, he's fighting in the co-main event against his rival from his hometown, Dada 5000. If you don't know who Dada 5000 is, check out a documentary on Netflix called Dogfight. It showcases underground backyard MMA ran by Dada 5000. And surprisingly, there's been some notable names to come through there. Bruce Leroy, Alex Caceres fought for Dada 5000. Lastly, heading into UFC 193 this weekend, check out the website, MMALatestNews.com. Go read Dan Tom's breakdown of UFC 193. It is an incredible must-read breakdown of the fights coming up this weekend. Last but certainly not least, today in America, it is Veterans Day. And for all of us at MMA Latest News, I would like to say thank you to the service men and women of America for truly putting your lives on the line day in and day out. When we talk about going to war in the cage and epic battles in the cage, it does not hold a candle to what you guys do day in and day out, out there on the battlefield, in the trenches. You guys are truly putting your lives on the line, making bigger sacrifices than most people. So thank you very much. For what you do it truly allows us to enjoy the freedoms that we have in america and allows me to do things like record this video for your enjoyment so thank you guys all the servicemen and women out there thank you for what you do with that that's going to do it for this episode of quick hits thank you for watching i'll be back next wednesday to give you a recap of what went down at ufc 193 and more mmalatestnews.com if you have any questions comments for me for next episode Hit me up on Twitter at Mr. M. Wells Art with the hashtag Quick Hits, and I'll be sure to get you featured next week. Thank you very much for watching. Until next week, peace. SYF.